So the Department of Science and Technology has started a program. It was started a while back and it's called Vice Kiran or Vice PhD. So if you are a woman who is looking for a funding for her PhD, whether you have enrolled in a PhD or whether you are going to register for PhD, I have some exciting news for you. And today's video will tell you everything about it, right from eligibility on how to apply on the kind of benefits that you get and you will be sorted once you watch this video. So make sure you watch this video till the end to know everything about this particular fellowship. So coming to the benefits as per the new norms of DST and PhD. For first two years, you will get 37,000 and for next three years, you will get 42,000 as per the new norms. GRF as well as SRF. Also, this fellowship will give you a research grant of 1 lakh per year. Okay, so you can say it like a contingency or uh, some form of grant in addition to the salary. And then you get institutional overhead charges as per DST norms. Okay, now, what are the institutional overhead charges that I'm not very sure about? So these were the benefits. Now, when do you apply? The most characteristic feature of this is that you can apply any time of the year okay you apply any time of the year if you have not taken admission for phd after you applying within six months you have to be taking admission for phd okay or if you have taken admission for phd and you are not getting any fellowship then also you can apply for this mind you this is only for women candidates the candidate should be having mtech msc or equivalents like b btech these degrees should be there for you to apply for this fellowship the age for this is 27 to 45 years so 45 years would be the upper limit for this extra three years relaxation is given in case you belong to any reserved categories the duration of this fellowship is five years one good thing about this fellowship is that you need not have any publication or prior experience to apply for this and also they have said that if you are in fourth or fifth year of your phd obviously you are about to complete so it does not make any sense to apply so do not apply if you are not getting fellowship and you are in fourth or fifth year of your phd so which are the disciplines in which you can apply physical and mathematical sciences life sciences chemical sciences earth and atmosphere atmospheric sciences, engineering and technology. So these are broadly the five different categories in which you can apply. If you are thinking of taking admission in these particular areas, then you are in for this fellowship. So the different documents which are required over here are complete proposal in the prescribed format. I'm flashing the screen recording over here. So you can have a look for any doctorate, fellowship or scholarship. A proposal is generally required. It may not be the final one which will be implementing. Okay, but roughly you can have an idea of what you will be doing and you can act accordingly. You need to have it in the PDF format as well as in the Word format. Your high school certificate, higher degree certificate. If you belong to any reserved category, then that category certificate you need. Certificate from the head of the institution, certificate of registration. If you have already enrolled for a PhD, then some form of proof that you have got the enrollment in this particular institute or university that would be required. If you have already enrolled, consent letter from your supervisor that they are allowing you to avail this benefit that is required and you need the bio data of the supervisor okay if you have not taken admission but you have somebody in mind that okay you will be working under this person then you can have the bio data of that person also as i've already mentioned earlier you need not be enrolled currently but if you get this fellowship your application gets approved then you have to enroll within six months to phd moving on to the selection process there are two stages for a selection process first will be preliminary screening based on the application received so if your application deems fit for this particular fellowship that is vice kiran or vice phd then in that case you'll be called for an interview the final selection would be made by subject expert committee okay so these are the two rounds which are there in the selection procedure and you will get the details of this result within six months so you need not be worrying whether the application gets approved or no whether it gets approved or not approved 
approved, you will get the decision within six months. Now, how to apply for this fellowship? As I've already mentioned, the call is open throughout the year. So it's not that in any particular month, the application will be open. I'm leaving the screen recording of the website over here. You need to be applying over here and the link is in the description box. The proposed format is also available on the same website. So you can have a look. So if you have any queries, then you can get back at this email address. So whatever issues or complaints you have, you can get it resolved over here. I hope I have pretty much explained the entire scheme. I am leaving the details of the brochure, the application procedure, everything in the description box. So do check out. Mostly whenever there is some PhD program, funding is always an issue. So if you are a woman in the age bracket of 27 to 45 years and you really want to do PhD, but you are not getting any kind of institute fellowship, you are not able to clear any any exam or because of some or the other reason you are not getting financial assistance for your PhD and in such cases this is a good opportunity for you the DST has hiked the fellowship PhD fellowship from 31,000 to 37,000 as of now and it's a good amount it's not an excellent amount but it's a good amount if you really want to pursue your dream of doing PhD so with that it's a wrap till the next time bye